guys. So this video is mainly going to be catching you up on my life because it's been really weird lately, but I'm also going to try to make it have a point. Um, you know, something about not missing opportunities just because something else is going on, like not getting tunnel vision about things because it's, it's something I tend to do sometimes. Um, so, okay. <laughs> As you guys probably remember, I had a huge crush on my friend Charlie a while back, and um, pretty much anytime we hung out, he was super awkward and distant, and if I tried to invite him to something, he would usually not show up, or he'd be really weird there, and my hair is doing something really weird, I'm sorry. Um, anyway, so... I couldn't figure out what I was doing wrong or why I couldn't get him to notice me. And it was driving me crazy and it was totally wrecking my self esteem. Like, this isn't usually a problem I have. Not to this extent, anyway. Like, normally, if, if you know, I can tell someone's not interested, then I just move on, you know? But he was not even giving me dis disinterest. He was just giving me nothing. So, it was confusing. I didn't know what was happening. Um, but I decided to make one last ditch effort and I invited him to trivia two or three weeks ago and he said yes so I was like whoa oh my god okay you know maybe this isn't totally hopeless and then the day of trivia I messaged him to touch base on it and he just didn't answer and I was like oh that's probably not a good sign and then, like, right before trivia started, he messaged me and was like, oh, hey, I'm not coming. So I was like, okay, yeah, I'm done, because this is making me feel like crap about myself, and I shouldn't be letting someone have that much control over my self-esteem. Like, the only person who should have control over that is me. And it's just, you know, it just felt terrible. Um, so, to make myself feel better, <laughs> this is kind of selfish, but... I reactivated my OkCupid account because I knew that, like, guys would always send me a bunch of messages saying how cute I am and stuff. <sighs> Very vain. It sounds even worse, like, saying it out loud. Like, it didn't seem that bad in my head when I was actually doing it, but it's not only just saying it out loud. I feel, like, kind of an asshole. <laughs> but, um, so this guy Teddy messaged me, and... You know, we, we hit it off right away, and we had so much in common, and we ended up talking for, like, five hours, and I was like, wow, I really like this guy. Um, and we started texting, and a few days later, he was like, so you're awesome, and I really want to meet you. And I was like, yeah, I feel the same way. So we decided <laughs> we were going to go to trivia. And this was one week after the Charlie thing. So it was moving pretty quickly here. Um, so the day of trivia... I don't hear from him, like, all day, and I'm like, oh my god, this is gonna happen two weeks in a row with two different people. How much worse could I possibly feel about myself right now? And then around, like, two or three hours before it started, he texted me and said, hey, <laughs> um, my mom is sick and she needs to go to the doctor and I can't come. Well, this is a problem because his car... <laughs> Uh, he's working on it right now, so it's not drivable, <laughs> and he lives with his parents, so he would have had to borrow his mom's car, and his dad had to go to a meeting or something, and I was like, I can't tell, this is like a really bad excuse, like, he's trying to get out of it, but he did actually make a huge effort to try to come, and it didn't end up happening, I was pretty disappointed, but then I was like, well, my friend Brandon, um, he's in a band, and they have a show Friday, which is two days later. I was like, it's in Atlanta if you want to come to that. Because that was closer and way more convenient. And it's free and seemed like a good opportunity. And he was like, yeah, I will definitely go to that. So I was like, okay, night salvaged. You know. Um, and then Friday came, the day of the concert. And... Uh, <laughs> I didn't hear from him all day, and I was like, I really would have thought he would have texted me now to say, like, hey, when do you want to meet up? 
can wear, whatever. Do you want to get a drink beforehand? But he hadn't. It was like six o'clock and he still hadn't messaged me. So I'm kind of like, awesome. And then, so I text him and I was like, hey, what's the plan? And he, he's like, listen, I got to be honest with you. I don't think this is going to work out. I'm like, we haven't even met yet, but okay. Uh, he's just like, well, you know, I live like an hour away and I don't have a car and I live with my parents and it just is really lame and, you know, I feel like a jerk and maybe in a couple months we want to wait and keep talking and I'm just like, <laughs> um, no, like I haven't even met you. Like, why should I, why should I wait on you? I, I don't even, I don't even know if we would like each other in person. Um. But, I mean, this was right before I was supposed to leave for the concert, so even though I was, you know, I kind of wanted to just give up on that, I still felt really bad. Like, I was really excited about this, and um, kind of, <laughs> like, oh, you're really ruining the night for me. Um, you know, like, I still have to go to this concert. Like, I promised Brandon I would go, because he's one of my best friends, and I want to support him. And, uh, so I went, and... I tried really hard not to be, but I was pretty mopey the whole time. Like, Brandon was trying to talk to me and engage me, and I was just being a huge idiot about it. Like, I just, I mean, I know like, it's okay to feel bad, but I was probably ruining everyone else's night, too. So, um... A few months earlier, when Brandon had first joined this band, he had said to me, Hey, Shelly, the bassist in my band, Craig, is super awesome, and I think you'd really like him. And I was kind of... This was when I still really liked Charlie, so I didn't care. And I also kind of thought, well, if he's friends with you, that sounds terrible. But some of Brandon's... Brandon's friends are really weird and kind of creepy. Like, I love Brandon, but some of his friends, oh my god. So, I didn't really think anything of it. I, like, I think I, like, looked him over Facebook and I was just like, eh, I don't know. But then, when I saw him in person, I was like, oh, actually, he is really cute. So... I will just look at him, and that will distract me from being sad about Teddy. So I did that, and I ended up having a pretty good time at the concert. And then the next day, um, Brandon was like, hey, I'm sorry that you felt bad last night. I hope that, you know, the, the show cheered you up some. And I was like, yeah, it did. And, you know, there was cute people to look at at least. And he was like, oh, Craig? And I was like, what? I didn't even, I just, okay, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Craig was pretty cute, and he was like, I knew it, I knew it, and, like, as soon as I said that, he started telling me all these things about him that he knew I would like, he was like, oh, you know, Craig has four cats, and they only wanted to adopt one, but they came up with four, because they love cats so much, and he loves Doctor Who, and he's really talented, and play, has played in front of thousands of people, and has a really good job, and he owns his own recording studio, and it's, he's super successful, and blah, 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 and I was like... <laughs> Okay, I feel like you're trying to get me to like him. And, uh, like, kind of, an, I don't know, if it annoyed me or freaked me out a little bit. Um, but it, I guess I was definitely interested. <laughs> um, even though it was, like, I, I hate, like, moving back and forth between liking people really quickly. It makes me feel weird. Anyway, um... So last night, we had a party at Brandon's house, and he invited Craig, who immediately <laughs> started talking to me about his cat, and showed me pictures of his cat, <laughs> and I showed him pictures of Wheatley, who he thought was really cute and had an awesome name, so it was pretty cool, and uh, we ended up talking out on the back deck till, like, 4th. 30 in the morning, which is 
a, a long time. Um, yeah. So. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen, but I think he's pretty awesome. Anyway, let's see. I said I was gonna try to make this have a point. Basically, <laughs> I'm trying really hard to not get my hopes up about things, and I'm trying to be open to different opportunities instead of just relying on one thing happening. And I am not as good at this <laughs> as Shelby and Jessica are making motivational videos, but, uh, um, you know, it's it's a thing I'm trying to work on. So if you guys have any experience with this you like to share or advice or anything like that, that would be awesome. I'm, oh my god, I'm sorry I talked about boys for 11 minutes. That's embarrassing. So yeah, that's kind of been my whole life the last couple of weeks. You know, I've just been, like, working a lot and hanging out with my friends. Like, that's, that's it. So, I know it's not super interesting, but it's kind of exciting for me. Um, so yeah, okay, I'm going to stop talking now. This has gone on for way too long already. I deeply apologize. <laughs> I sound kind of boy crazy. Okay, but yeah, so I'm going to go. I will talk to you guys later, and hopefully see you soon on Skype. Let me make that happen. All right. Uh, bye.